Hello everyone! In this video, I will be giving you a tour on DTX Mania. I will be discussing settings and options in DTX Mania and some facts that you may not know. This is going to be a bit long, but I promise that you will learn a lot from this video. Let's discuss the things you can do in the game interface. Let's go to Game Start. So let's go to this folder for example. To navigate, press up or down or hit either the snare or floor tom pads respectively. To change difficulty for a sim file, press X twice or hit your hi hat pad twice. To confirm or play the selected song, press enter or the right symbol. To go back, press Z or the left symbol. To access the quick config menu, press spacebar twice or step on the bass kick twice. Here in auto mode, we usually set to all auto to set all pads to auto, auto LP to make left pedal auto, auto BD to make bass kick auto, two pedal auto to make left pedal and bass kick auto, XG lane auto. This means that the left symbol, left pedal, and floor tom will be auto, which will make it like playing on a classic drum menu machine, then off enables all pads. Scroll speed controls how fast the notes arrive. Dark has three options. Dark off displays full interface. Dark half darkens everything but retaining the judgment line and the bar lines. And dark full darkens everything, removing the judgment line and the bars as well. Risky will give you a maximum amount of notes to miss and if you exceed, you will get a staged fail. Play speed will either make the same file slower or faster. This is useful for training. I'll show you an example. I'll select the song and I'll let you hear the first few seconds. Let's play the song with play speed set to 0.8. So as you may have noticed, the audio is slower than usual. Set the value greater than 1 and the audio will be faster. Hidden Sudden has several options. Hidden will hide the notes before they reach the judgment line. Sudden will make notes appear just before the judgment line. Hidden Sudden will combine these and you will only see the notes in the center. And in Stealth you will not see any notes at all. Now, let's access the sort menu. Press V twice or hit your high tom twice to access this menu. This will give you a set of options depending on how you want to sort the current folder. There's sort by title, level, best rank, play count, author, which sorts the songs by artist stated in the same file, skill point, and date the same file was made or modified. There's also a random select option in this folder. Hit this and you will get a random song corresponding to the level you set. Let's go back one folder up. Again, that's Z or hit left symbol. Here we can see another random select and this is the global random select. This means DTX Mania will draw a random song from your entire SIM file library. Finally, you can press F11 from here to access the configuration menu. Now we go to system. I will only discuss entries that I understand and I will be skipping those that you can also find in the quick config menu. Reload songs. Just reload the entire song list if you've added a new SIM file. Personally, I've never used this since I always restart DDX menu when I add a new SIM file. Lane Alpha here controls how transparent the movie will be. Setting this to 0% will completely block the movie behind and setting it to 100% will make it completely transparent. Full screen here toggles DTX menus either to window mode or full screen mode. Stage fail on will enable game over when excite gauge is empty and off will completely forgive you even if you fail the song. Random sub box, just turn it on if you want the random select to appear in the playlist. Now I have preset the adjust waves and vsync weight to off. I will discuss it later in another tutorial. Here, the retro mode is set to on. Remember that I asked you to install Windows SDK? This is it doing its job. 
If you didn't install Windows SDK, this will do nothing and setting it to off will require you to install video codecs for you to be able to view the videos properly. In addition to that, performance is bad compared to when direct show mode is on. Pre-sound wait. This sets the delay time before the preview song starts playing. When you select a new song, after 1 second, the preview will play. This is the recommended setting, but you can also set it to zero if you want. I'll show you a comparison. Pre-image wait. This sets the delay time before the preview image appears. This is the default as well. PG Alpha. When the same file you're playing as a background image, this sets how transparent it will be. It's just set to zero. BGM sound. Toggles music on or off. I usually turn this up just to test if the hit sounds on the same file I made is working properly. Audience. When you accomplish a fill in, like in this portion, there's a graphic effect and an explosion sound. Just turn this off if you don't want this. Damage level will control the damage from your excite gauge when you miss a note. Save score. Save high scores, skill points, and the setting when you have adjusted the offset of the song. Just leave this to on. Chip volume adjusts how loud the hit sounds are. Default is 100. Auto volume adjusts how loud the hit sounds are for notes that are set to auto. Default is 80. Stage effect. For some sim files, there are bonus notes. When you hit the bonus note successfully, it will trigger an explosion like this. If you do not like this, set stage effect to off. Show lag time. Shows the latency of each hit you make. Turn it to on to show it every time you hit, and great, so it will only appear when you get great or lower rating. By default, this is off. For sound type up to a CO device, this will be discussed in another tutorial. So in DTX Mania version KFSP, you can choose from 5 different skins. This will change the overall interface and it's up to you to choose which skin you want to use. By default, it's pointed to pre-evolved English since some Japanese texts are also translated here. Now I press escape to go back, then we select drums. Here, autoplay sets certain pads or all pads to auto. You can also configure this before choosing a song, but in here, you can set which pad or pads you can specifically set to auto. Judge line disp here will toggle display of judgment line. This is how it looks like when it's on, and this is how it looks like when it's set to off. Reverse will make the notes fall upward instead of downward, a la Guitar Freaks or DDR style of scrolling. Judge position here changes the notes where the mark appears. PA would be the default, PB is under the judgment line, and OFF for no judgment. Combo will turn the combo display on or off. For lane type, by default, type A is used. Here's what the other lanes look like. Adjust accordingly to what you're comfortable with. If tight here is set to on, then any pad that you hit without a note will register as a miss. This means you can't do ad-libs, so I just set this to off. Allow me to discuss the groups here but don't touch anything. So right now it's set to HH2, FT0, CY1, and BD2. I will just show an example here. In the FT group, low tom and floor tom are separated. This means low tom and floor tom notes will always be two different notes. You hit red notes with the low tom and orange notes with the floor tom. Now if you set this to FT1, low tom and floor tom are grouped, then you may either hit the low tom or floor tom for the red or orange notes. This makes the game easier, but obviously this is not what we want. So we set this to FT0. Seriously, don't leave it to FT1 if you want the real game experience. Turn hit sound to off if you want to turn up the hit sounds for each song. If you want to use the internal sound of your eDrum kit as the sound, you should turn this to off. I have to discuss these two things, HHL graphics and LBD graphics. By default, closed and open hi-hat notes are shown as the same note as shown here. 
I set this to type A, default graphics of DTX Mania, where the closed and open hi-hat notes look different, and for testing purposes only. Also in type A, the open hi-hats have a circle around them, but in type B, the open hi-hats have no circle. Now if you feel uncomfortable with seeing two different kinds of hi-hat notes, just set this to type C. The case is the same here in LBD graphics. By default, left pedal looks like this, but there are some sim files where the author purposely put left pedal notes as left bass drum notes. If you're uncomfortable with seeing two different left pedal notes, just set this to type A. Personally, I have set both to type A and type B for testing purposes. Muting LP, assigned to LBD, and DKDK type options will be discussed in another tutorial. There's this quirky option here called random pad and random pedal where, well, you guessed it, sets the notes as random. Can you imagine that you're playing drums and random notes are sent to you? That would be chaotic, but they've included this option. Personally, I didn't spend time experimenting on this, but if you're in for some fun, you should try it. Now let's play a song and discuss what things you can do while the song is playing. Pressing F5 will toggle the movie mode to window mode, both, off, and full screen. Pressing F6 will toggle the stat box on or off. F11 will toggle debug info here in the lower right of the screen and is useful for monitoring stats such as sound CPU, frames, BPM, current bar, song length, and BGM input adjustment settings. F12 will snap a screenshot and you can see it in the capture underscore image folder inside the DTX main directory. Pressing pause or break will completely freeze or unfreeze the song. Pressing up or down arrow will adjust the scrolling speed slower or faster. Pressing shift plus up or shift plus down will adjust BGM sync by 10 milliseconds and holding control plus shift plus up or control plus shift plus down will adjust BGM sync by 1 millisecond. This will be discussed in another tutorial. Press left or right for input lag adjustment. Negative values mean you should hit late and positive values mean you should hit early. You can also press control plus left or control plus right to adjust input lag by one millisecond. Holding down page up or page down will bring the judgment line up or down. Holding eight or two on the numpad adjusts the upper shutter and holding 4 or 6 on the numpad adjusts the lower shutter. If you want to cancel whatever song you're playing, press escape. Well, that's it for this tutorial. You can also check my DTX Mania tutorials playlist for the rest of my tutorials. If this tutorial helped you, please like my video. And for more tutorials and rhythm gameplay videos, please subscribe. Check out my social media on the description of this video. Thank you very much and see you next time.